What's going on everybody, it's David here, and I would like to welcome you to another episode of This Week in CrossFit. And if this is your first time watching an episode of This Week in CrossFit, this series is all about what's going on in the world of CrossFit. So if you enjoy today's episode, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's hop into this week's news stories. And this week's first news piece of the week comes from my hometown of Northern California. The Donut Bar is actually a NorCal-based bakery that makes all sorts of different uh, healthy fitness style uh, baked goods and their most popularized or they're most widely known for their protein donut that you can actually purchase online and they'll deliver it to your door. But the awesome thing was is that they were actually featured in Shark Tank this past week uh, where they were able to secure a $300,000 investment from a Shark Tank investor, Barbara Cochran, for a 20% stake. I don't know about you, but that's super dope when you were able to take something that you love like CrossFit and build a business based off of something that you love. And now you have uh, an even wider platform to share that love of fitness and food and be able to take it to the masses around the country and hopefully around the globe. Right now, from my understanding, if you do purchase anything on their website, they are about two to six weeks late, uh, but rest assured, you will get your pastries that you ordered. And they're also actually developing a new pastry, which is a Rice crispy uh, protein um, enhanced uh, treat, which would be, I'm sure, pretty dope to try out. Uh, but I love treats. So I'm gonna pass the question off to you. What is your favorite cheat meal that you like to eat post-workout or anytime that you like to eat a cheat meal? Let me know in the comments below. And for our second news piece of the week, CrossFit HQ has officially released the open workout matchups as well as the location for each of the open announcements over the course of the five weeks. For week one, we have Sam Briggs and Christian Holt competing out of Sao Paulo, Brazil. In week two, we have Noah Olson and Patrick Vellner competing out of CrossFit Raw. And in week three, we have Neil Maddox and Kyle Kasperbauer competing out of CrossFit Skyline. Week four, we have Scott Panchik as well as some dude I can't even pronounce his name competing at a CrossFit Fury. And in week five, we've got the daughters, Annie, Sarah, and Katrin competing out of CrossFit Reykjavik. Now, none of these events will have tickets for sale except for week one in Brazil. So unless you really are trying to get to see any of the CrossFit open workout announcements, you're gonna have to have some pretty steep pockets. I don't know about you, but I'm super stoked to see my boy Noah Olson crush Patrick Vellner because he's Canadian. So I'm going to pass the question off to you. Let me know in the comments who you're looking forward to seeing crush it and throw down in this year's open workout announcements. And speaking of the CrossFit open workout announcements, our last major story of the day involves the major question of whether or not you should sign up for the CrossFit Open. Now you know your boys on Reddit, you know this is where I got this question from, which is a very good question to ask yourself whether this is the first time that you plan on doing the CrossFit Open or this is going to be your 15th time doing the CrossFit Open even though the Open has only been around for not that long. And it's interesting because a lot of people have different answers as to whether or not you should or shouldn't sign up for the open. Some people are saying it creates a sense of community. It reinforces commitment that you will commit to seeing each week of the open completed. But other people are saying again that why? Why spend $20 on a competition where you know you're not going to win? There's The chances of you winning are virtually impossible. And it's a question that I don't hold against people and it's a question that I've over time kind of been asking myself as well should I sign up for the open should I spend 20 bucks on signing up for the open when I know that I'm not going to win but I think it's the same thing as going into any other competition I love competing in local competitions particularly as an individual athlete and I don't know if I'm gonna win a competition if I sign up for it, but I sign up anyway. And you know, it is a little bit different with the Open because there are so there are hundreds of thousands of people that sign up that register to compete, and the chances of me getting to the platform are virtually nil, but I still do it anyway. 
And I think that's a question you need to ask yourself. So I'm gonna pass the question off to you guys. Do you think it's worth spending $20 to sign up for the open when you know you're not gonna win? Let me know in the comments below. Now moving on to in case you missed it, this week we have a new episode of Brooke Wells's Working Against Gravity mini documentary series where she talks all things sacrifice. And when I mean sacrifice, I mean sacrificing tailgate parties and hanging out with friends for going to the CrossFit Open and having a shoe sponsor. Now, I don't mean to trivialize her experience. She's a phenomenal athlete. She's put in a ton of work. And it's a four-part documentary series where they cover different aspects of your, her life. But I think the documentary is still interesting to watch nonetheless. It's always interesting to peek into the lives of all these different CrossFit athletes. Because at the end of the day, we're all athletes pushing to better ourselves. And it's all about what level of uh, determination are we going to push ourselves to in order to reach our goals. Link to that documentary series will be down below in the description of this video. Our second In Case You Missed It comes from Noble and their new artwork series collection of basic trainers. And this is a interesting series where they worked with a particular artist, Kent Youngstrom, to work with the Noble artist to create uh, canvases and they took those canvases and created them into colorways for the different basic trainers and the cool thing about this project is that each canvas that was produced is going to be auctioned off and the proceeds from those canvases are going to be going towards uh, a charity that each of the athletes from Noble chooses. Now the colorways are actually kind of interesting if you see the behind the scenes they used a number of different um, pieces of workout equipment to create these art pieces. But nonetheless, if you like cool shoes, like I do, I am a sneakerhead. I love purchasing shoes. I love different colorways. Uh, these are some cool shoes to check out as well as the behind the scenes is kind of cool to check out. And if you do help out by purchasing one of the art canvases, you know that it is going towards a cool, um, not just cool, but it's going towards a worthwhile cause. And our last, in case you missed it for this week, comes from the boys at Beyond the Barbell, Blair Morrison and Ben Alderman, who have just developed a new platform called Program Hopper, where essentially what they do is each week they provide you with a new week of programming from a different programming site. So essentially it's exactly what you think of it is. It's a hopper and they just pull out uh, we could programming from let's say Ben Smith's blueprint or they pull out a uh, week of programming from Misfit or they pull out a week of programming from hybrid performance from all across the board all sorts of different programmers and they provide that to you at an extremely extremely low cost of $9.99 and if you've ever purchased remote programming you know that remote programming can be pretty expensive especially when you go into the realms of purchasing nutrition coaching and things like that um, you're looking at you know $50 to $100 for a program with something like this this is actually on the cheaper end in terms of programming now this I would say is definitely more towards the athlete who has ADD uh, when it comes to choosing what they're going to be working on because you're not going to see a consistent um, set of uh, training, uh, let's say cycle to cycle, you're going to be all across the board. So I don't know if this is something that you should choose per se because you want to follow the program hopper methodology because it's not really a methodology, but if you're interested in seeing what different CrossFit Games athletes are using in their training protocols uh, based off of the different programs they're following. I think this is a definite great tool for you to check out. Like I said, it's only $9.99, so it's not really that expensive. Uh, if you're like me, again, I like to um, see what program is going to be most effective for me. Like I said in my previous vlog, if you haven't seen that, make sure you go check that out. Right now I'm following a weightlifting program, even though I do plan on doing the CrossFit Open. So it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, it, again, if you're looking for programming, this is the, I think this might be the best way to find a program that works for you. Because let's say, for example, you get a taste of Misfit, you find that you are responding to what it is that they are programming. You can cancel your program hopper membership and you can go over and sign up for Misfit but at the same time Misfit is also free so take that into consideration some of these programs that they are providing might be free um, take that with a grain of salt 
Um, and that's gonna be it guys. So as I said before in the previous video, let me know what program you are following in the comment section down below. And last but not least, I want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers who's been watching, I think she's watched every single video, Lindsay. I just want to give you a big shout out and thank you very much for answering all of the questions that I've been posing on this channel. Um, I am super, super thankful and grateful for all of you guys that have been watching all of these videos. It means a ton to me, especially the first episode of This Week in CrossFit. You guys have blown it out of the water. It's now at 5,000 views I never would have imagined that I would have ever been able to hit 5,000 views on YouTube on any video especially given the fact that I only have like 90 subscribers which is what I want to pose a challenge for you guys today I really want to get to 100 subscribers by next week's video that's nine subscribers we're nine subscribers away from a hundred subscribers so what I want you guys to do is click that thumbs up button Make sure you subscribe and leave a comment down below. If you could train and you can spend one day with any CrossFit Games athlete, leave a comment down below. And with that, guys, that's going to be it for today's episode of This Week in CrossFit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, for checking out this series. Let me know what you liked. Let me know what you didn't like. Make sure you leave that comment down below of who you would spend one day with if you could spend a day with any CrossFit Games athlete. And as always, guys, make sure your coffee is black and your barbells are heavy. This is David, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.